Black people in America don't have wealth like others because they choose not to, to generate wealth through investments and passing their money down. Who's teaching us to do this? We should teach each other to do it. Why does somebody got to teach? You want the white man to teach us? Is that what you're saying? I mean, here, yeah. teach us something. Okay, no, you could teach You could teach something. You got a college, you could get in a college education. When you have children, so, so, teach your so children. So basically help yourselves. We know we, we know you have this 200 year head start. That we know doesn't matter, bro. You don't you have nothing hey, to do with it. You don't have Hello guys, what's up? Hi guys, do you hope you guys are feeling good? Welcome back to the showroom, guys. You know how DTL people are like real simple. Um, we're gonna be watching a video quickly by Officer Phantom where he dismantled a black liberal um victimhood. Most of these black people tend to claim um victim of the past of what the whites did to the black, which is the black slavery that happened millions and years ago, thousands of years ago, I mean, and I did a video back before if you've not watched it make sure you go back and watch it where he explained black and white privilege at the same time and it was really fascinating to watch and this one here it's really amazing guys if if you've not watched the former one um go do go back and check the link i'll be posting the link of the video to the um in the description and with no further ado guys let's just bounce to this video while we're delaying guys let's go and let's see what's happened guys watch this guys What's going on? What's your name? I'm Chris. What's your name? Chris. Chris? Okay, yeah. Chris. I noticed you have the, uh, the, unless I read wrong, you have the Make America Great Again. Yeah, I do. I want you to tell me exactly the point in history where America was great. Uh, you America know, it's great. It, it, it point to me a time in history where America wasn't great. Point to, tell me, tell me where the it starts. The birth of America? No, this America it, this, point in America this, where this America was wasn't built great. On, on murder and thievery and deception what do you mean now let me explain this to you real quick this is for this is for everybody to listen to everybody always have this perception that we shouldn't acknowledge america as being great america started at a certain point and grew and become and came better over time mm -hmm. no country that you know of was 100 percent perfect at the foundation no country you, you no didn't country answer my question. in the world Afri no countries in africa no countries in europe you can name it everybody started at a certain point and it became greater you, you over didn't time. Answer my question. Ever since you've been alive, America Chewman. has been the greatest it's ever been. You think so? A hundred percent, brother. You can name somewhere else that's better than America. And why don't you live there? I'm not sure. You they, not, I know you're not sure because they, they don't exist. Were they? Show me somewhere else that's as, as, as diverse as America. Anywhere. As diverse? Pick, that's as diverse. What does diversity mean if, opportunities if people are being for discriminated all against? People. Show me another country that give opportunities for all people like America. Do you does. think we have the same opportunity as? everybody else as Who, black people yeah 100 percent. with a 200 year economic head start on us yeah, and no we're stopping you now aren't you at this university yeah you at the university just like all these white people that's mm -hmm. it how's that any different can't you i want you, you can, to go two no, blocks no, no, that no, no, way no, no. and tell Forget me where that. they at you can read you can go to class mm -hmm. you can make good grades mm -hmm. I'm, I'm hoping that you make your straight a's mm -hmm. how is how is america stopping you from doing that and well, how is it stopping, stopping you from being prosperous enough to go down the street and make a difference in your own community? How, how is America stopping you from doing Why that? Why is it my responsibility to, to make a difference in my community that was sabotaged from the start? I don't think, I don't, let, let's go back to the foundation. Do you think the CIA planted uh, drugs in our communities? They didn't make you sell it. Do you think they... Uh, no, 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 I agree. They, I, do you I, think I've they heard, burned down stories of how black the CIA, businesses? Do you know let what me, black me, Hollywood let's go, is? Let's go one at a time. I've heard stories that the CIA planted drugs in the inner city communities. Not every black community, but in some. They still don't make you go and sell drugs to your brother, do they? Why are right. you not selling drugs right now? Because it doesn't make sense for you to do that. You have an opportunity to go to a university, get an education and make yourself better and make your family better in the next few generations. Mm -hmm. Nobody's stopping us from doing that. I'm sitting on campus right you know, now and you know all these people are listening to me. You know what's stopping, what's stopping me? Money. It, I, well. In America, uh, 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 in America, uh, 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 what's stopping you from making money in America? What the f is not stopping us from making money? You what go the to the same university as all these white people. What, how you what? got it? Got it different? It's exactly. crazy guys. You said what? Excuse me. We're still in debt. We We're in debt. debt. That's what. That's debt that's is our your fault. fault. <laughs> Pull yourself up by your bootstraps, right? Okay, I went to. I went. I we went, were never given boots went, to begin let, with. Let's start with this. I actually went and graduated from a university, so I'm not a guy that didn't go to college. I had a full scholarship, so I didn't pay for school in my undergrad. Graduate school, I paid for out of my pocket. I did not get a loan. I mean, I did not have to 
get loan forgiveness or nothing like that. I had $11,000 worth of debt and I paid it. How is that different than anybody else out here? Because everybody doesn't have the same that, opportunity. I'm black though. Why did, how did I pay my loan off and you can't? Or, Where are you from? Wait, I'm from Texas, Fort Worth, Texas, Dunbar High School. Fort Worth, right Texas. Right in the hood and stop six. It, right in the hood and stop six. How did I get to this point if America's against me? Did everybody in your neighborhood get to that point? Well, different choices. There's a lot of people in Where my neighborhood that made it out at? because they made better choices. I could have sold drugs. I didn't. Why? Because I wanted something better out of my life. What do you say about the disproportionate wealth? Is, is that, okay. Does that not matter? It, it's about culture. How much money do you save? I don't know. I'm in debt, bro. You in debt. <laughs> How much do you invest? I don't know. How did you get into debt? Call it. Who chose to come here? Who chose? Well, that's, you, you, you chose laid the it debt. out. Now, when you come here, for every college student here, this should be an investment into your future. Right. Yeah. Anybody that know anything about making money knows that you have to invest to get to the next step. You may, know listen, you may be in debt. Money. You may be in debt to make an investment to get to the next step. So if you do this properly, this is a debt investment to make more money in the future. If yeah. you come here and clown around and take a major that won't put you anywhere, then you just got into debt for no doggone reason. It's a cultural thing. Black people in America don't have wealth like others because they choose not to, to generate wealth through investments and passing their money down. Who's teaching us to do this? We should teach each other to do it. Why does somebody got to teach? You want the white man to teach us? Is that what you're saying? I mean, hell, teach us something. Okay, no, you could teach. You could teach something. You got a college. You can get in a college education. When you have children, so, so, teach your so children. So basically, help yourselves. We know we we know you have this 200 year head start. That we know doesn't matter, bro. You don't you have nothing hey, to do hey, with. Hey, you don't hey. have nothing to do with that. Oh, you don't have nothing to do with that. I thought you said one at a time. You don't have nothing to do with that. I don't do have you? nothing to do with what? The 200 years that you're talking about. Yes, I do. Have you ever heard of generational trauma, generational wealth? You my have people don't own anything. Where my you come, where you come from? Where you come from? How can you build something when my people? Okay, okay. I just got to post it here, you know. A lot of a lot of people that say uh, my people don't own anything, my people don't get anything. You got a choice. Like you got a choice. You can make a difference. I don't. I don't agree to the fact that because my family is poor, I should be poor. No, we gotta make the difference. Like, we we shouldn't be making excuses of a failure that happened in the past. Why are we making excuses? I feel like that's what a lot of black people are doing because they're making excuses, excuses on excuses that okay, because our ancestors were poor, um, we being poor, it's 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 not bad. Like it's it's a normal thing because our ancestors were poor. Like, why? We ought to make the difference. That's why we are who we are. Because we didn't get the opportunity or everything that is needed. It doesn't mean we should stick to that excuse. Like, what's the point? I Sometimes I, f I feel so angry about why do some college students do this? Okay, you are in debt, no problem. I agree, you are in debt because of college. But it's an investment. It's, it's not a debt to kill you. There are some good debts. There are some bad debts. Even the billionaires have debt too. So what's the point? Your ancestors were broke. They didn't give you, they didn't teach you anything. Means that you should be broke too. Like guys, it's bad. Really. Let's continue guys. What happens next? It's going to shock you guys. Let's go. People come from nothing. I come from South Memphis. And I come from Stop Six. Congratulations. Congratulations. I went to the university. What does comparison mean? It what means does that comparison we, mean just when real the statistics quick. say that we are behind? We are not behind. Some people are behind. We're not behind. Why? Because we make positive decisions. He not behind. He not behind. She not behind. Do I want to go point You're on out a out college black campus? What does college guarantee us success? You're on a college it depends, campus. It depends on what you do with, with what you have presented to you. You were born in wherever you were born at. Look at you now. What's the difference between you and other people that didn't choose? Opportunity. How, how did you get an opportunity that other people didn't? You're in debt, so you didn't have the money. Opportunity. You didn't have the money to pay my, for it. My parents didn't have much, but they had yeah. enough to keep me out the hood trying to make some money any way I can. I know yeah. people who okay. have no anything. They have to go out there. They're, they have no other choice. They have a horrible education. Do you know what the education system is like here? It's horrible. Okay, so.
Okay, I I understand what this guy is trying to say. All right, some people some people got the opportunity. Why right? some people doesn't have the opportunity? But nevertheless, if you know where you're going, like you are focused, you didn't have any opportunity. You didn't have any help from anywhere, provided you are focused. Like you're gonna reach your goal. Provided you are focused, you're gonna reach your goal. I see no I see no reasons to make excuses for failure. Like why? Why why are you making excuses? That your parents are broke, so that's why you two are broke. Bro. No. I know some people that our parents are dead broke. Like dead broke. But they created opportunities for themselves. Like they made opportunities for themselves because they know where they were going. So you can't fold, fold your hands and be like, oh no, I'm going to make excuses because my parents are broke, so I'm fine with it. Like, there's no point, guys. Let's go, let's go. This is getting interesting, guys. So let's explain it like this. I want to I wanna make sure we talk it on the same, at the same level. Okay. So in America, every single person has an opportunity to do something with what they have in their hand. And we have I'm, nothing uh, in our look, hands. Look, look, let That's me say the this. point. Let me say this. Let me say this. I believe wholeheartedly that God gives you a hand of cards to play. Hear me out. God gives you L a hand. Hear me out. God gives you a hand of cards to play. Not everybody's hand is the same. What You can have a full deck of great cards and you play them poorly, you won't make it in life. You can have a bad hand. You play them strategically and you play them right, you'll do good in life. You had a not so good hand growing up where you grew up at. You made positive decisions that led you here. That's the hand you mm -hmm. get, you've been dealt. Everybody don't have a freaking silver spoon in their mouth. America is but the only place they do. proportionately who do. is they? Everybody else, man. Everybody else, like who? Are you saying white people, brother? You yes. in you in the same yeah. situation as all these white people? And you and am you I? playing a victim? Am I? How, you at the am same I? university? Am I? What does the same university have to do with anything? You go to the same class. I had a four point three GPA in high school. I did what I was supposed what to you hit. Got now? I did what I was supposed to do. What's your GPA now? 3.6. Brother, what's holding you back then? That's the point. Everybody doesn't have a 3.6. Everybody is Did you just get a 3.6 because you woke up one day? You studied, didn't you? Right. No, what? I actually didn't. You didn't study. No. So then you have a gift that you can go and make a three point something and don't even study. Right. Brother, I mean, I don't know. I think we're wasting our time talking to each other. The, the bottom line is that if you study, you work hard, you play the cards that you're dealt properly, you will be successful. This country mm -hmm. makes more millionaires than anywhere in the world. You can talk. Oprah Winfrey came from nothing. Uh, 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 Tyler Perry came from nothing. I mean, you go down a list. You go down a list, brother. Why are you naming rich black people? I, because these are the Why people. Why are you naming well, rich what about me? black people? All right, me. You talking about, about me, me and you. I'm talking about everybody in the surrounding, everybody outside of this bubble. Listen, man, you, you, you're, you're a product of your decision making. You are an example yeah. that you can come from nothing and come a to the university. Of your decision making when the majority you, you of came others from are nothing, a product you at the of university. their environment. What are we saying? You came from nothing. You're at the university. Well, how about you go and teach other young men like you that grew up where you grew up how to do what you did to get here? Period. What's the problem in that? Well, come to the mic, please. Can you come to the mic? He want me off the mic. Come, no, no, you, it doesn't matter about recording. Can you come to the mic so we can hear your question, please? Come on. Come on, we, we no, can it's, it's the so mic. we can get the audio in. We can double team the mic. We can double team the mic. Just, well, just it's ask okay. the question, and I'll try to answer your question. Hold on one second. What's your question? How does everyone have an opportunity when systematically the U.S. has multiple inequities within? What inequities? Can you explain one? Wait, wait, wait. inequities in education. What, what does that mean? Are you, do you consider yourself a minority? I do. Is the country against you? But it's not. You're here. You, you did what you're supposed to do to get here. You. That's what it's about, individuality. You. If you do what you need to do, you'll be here. You as in everybody on this campus. Listen, some people grow up in a, in a terrible first, environment. Man. Can we agree? Some people in that terrible environment make positive decisions to get out of that environment. Some people, it takes longer, some, it like take temper, longer in like, life to do that. Like and that's not a black thing, it's an everybody thing. There's poor white people in this country too, do you not forget that? Most people on food stamps are white. 
Most people incarcerated are white. Most people in the country are white. Most people get killed by police are white. Most most everybody in this country is white. What so is the, what, what I'm what saying? That what does what that I'm statistic is, have to do with anything? That if poverty was just was just relocated to black people, it would only be black you people. You talking on a script? I can't really All right, come on. Next person. It's really crazy. I, I okay. I actually started feeling the the point the guy was trying to come from. He wasn't talking about himself. He was talking about other broke people. You know. But you can't speak for everybody. Like, how are you going to speak for everybody when um, some people want to make changes for themselves, some people want to... You can't, you can't speak for everybody. Some people have the choice to make, but they, they didn't make the choice. And I feel like everything boils down to self-determination because some people were born broke. Their parents were born broker. <laughs> you get the point. Like... It's the choice they made that determines where they get to in points of life. I didn't make wrong choices. I try as much as possible to make right choices. Even till now, I'm still making right choices. I'm still, I still want to break out from where I'm at. Like, I still, want, I still want better things for myself. I know the environment plays a major role in, in everybody's life, but you got to be ready to make the change. If you ain't ready, you ain't making no change. You got to be ready because... Everything still boils down to you. Whether white, whether black, what about the white people? They have bro broke white people too. Some some whites are broke. <laughs> they didn't make the choice. They didn't make the right choice. Are you are you gonna blame black for white being broke? So why you blame whites for black being broke? Dude, it's your environment. You gotta change your mentality. You gotta think better of yourself. You gotta you gotta make the right choices and listen to the right thing so that I can tune your mindset into positive things. Because we consume a lot of negative things each and every day. That's what makes us be, be in a in a stagnant point, in a in a bad point, or in a left point. So you can't blame anybody for being broke. And my final words are in any position you find yourself, try as much as possible to work super hard because you can't blame anybody for your downfall. Only yourself can be blamed. So make the right choices today and make your future great again. Anyways, let's make America great again by making the right choices for ourselves and both for our communities and both for our families. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to hear your opinion about this video. Like it was really interesting. And I hope um Officer Tantum work with turning points so they could make amazing clips like this again because this was actually fascinating and i really do love this clip and anyways guys let me know what you think about this clip in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching make sure you share this video among all your friends your families your well wisher even your enemies guys <laughs> thank you so much for watching keep watching and watch out for more peace and god bless you